Dear students, hello and welcome back to this channel. This topic is PIC 18F Timers and its Programming. In this session, I will explain you what are different timers used for a PIC 18F microcontroller and uh, we will discuss few programs related to this use of timers. So, the number of timers depends on which type of PIC microcontroller you are using. We will discuss all the basic timers. So first timer is timer control or uh, timer zero control register. We'll be discussing timer zero, timer one, timer two and timer three. What is the expected question from the exam point of view? You can expect the question like this. Uh, explain the working of T0CON that is timer zero control register. So you need to draw this diagram and you will have to write the functioning of each pin. Apart from this, the features can be well asked, like uh, what are the features of uh, timer zero control register. Okay, let us discuss uh, this timer zero control register contents. This first bit, I mean MSB bit is D7 bit, which is TMR0 on. That is TMR means timer zero on. So quite simple. It indicates this bit gives the information whether the timer zero is on or off. If this bit is 1, it indicates it is timer 0 is on, that is it is enabled and 0 indicates the timer is not on. Then next bit D6 is T0, that is timer 0, 8, B, I, T. See, in case of timer 0, you can well use it as 8-bit or 16-bit counter. We know that this is timer or counter and uh, main use of this timer or counter is to provide the delay. So this bit decides whether you are using 8-bit or 16-bit control. So if it is 1, it is 8-bit. If it is 0, it is 16-bit timer or counter. Next bit is T0CS that is timer 0 clock source select. We have two options. We can select internal clock or you we can select the external clock so one bit indicates external clock from these are the two pins ra4 or tockii pins you can well connect external clock signal to these pins if it is zero it means that internal clock is used there is one important term which is called prescale prescaling ka matlab kya hai jaise dekho uh, Microcontroller may pick microcontroller may usually the frequency is in megahertz. Let us say 10 megahertz. All these timers, if you allow to operate with this frequency, then overflow will occur very early. So, what is the uh, solution for this? Ye direct clock frequency hum log use nahi karenge, isko divide karenge. Let us say I will divide it by 4. So, it will be 10 by 4, that is 2.5 megahertz. Usse uh, timer ya counter operate karenge, just to avoid the early overflow. This concept of dividing the frequency which is available internally, which is let us say 10, uh, kilo, uh, 10 megahertz, this frequency of uh, where we divide the available frequency and then apply to the timer or counter. This is called pre-scaling. Now, see, this is four se divide karenge. This is inbuilt. I mean, F oscillator. That is, the clock used kar rahe hum log, uh, counter me ya timer me will perform like this. F oscillator by four. And again, if required, then again the division is performed by using different bits. This is pre-scaling operation. So here I have written zero means internal clock is used but oscillator clock frequency is divided by 4 that is pre-scaled then next bit t0se that is timer 0 source edge select bit so if it is 1 it indicates that the increment it is basically edge select bit increment is on high to low transition and 0 indicates increment is from low to high transition uh, for so this is the major function of edge select uh, bit. The next bit is PSA. This is very important bit as far as programming is concerned. Dekho, ye agar bit 1 hai, to prescale is not assigned. Yaad rakh lo, by default, ye prescale use kar rahe hum log F oscillator, that is oscillator frequency is divided by 4. Agar jada aur bhi prescale chahiye, to ye bit 0 karna padega. That means you are assigning some uh, prescale. 
Next three bits D2, D1 and D0 that is written as T0, PS2, T0, PS1, T0, PS0. These are pre-scale select bits. As I have told you, already this uh, frequency is divided by 4. If there is more than that pre-scale, then different combinations are used. For example, the bits D2, D1, D0 are 1, 1, 1. It indicates that this frequency is divided by 4 here already internally ho hai. again we will divide it by 256 so pre-scale will be 1 as to 256 likewise there will be different combination for 0 0 0 pre-scale will be 1 as to 2 ab dekho ye pre-scale ka hai but th there is no combination for no pre-scale to agar mujhe pre-scale karna hai to ye bit compulsory 0 assign karna padega suppose I will assign this D3 bit. A, a programming may iska use kaise karna hai. If I will assign this D3 bit equals to 0. That means I will have to assign pre-scale. Ab, jo pre-scale aapko decide karna hai. You will have to write the contents of this bit. For example, if I want to use no pre-scale. Matlab pre-scale use hi nahi karna hai. But there is no option. So by default, these remaining 3 bits are written 0. Ab, प्री स्केल नहीं करना है ये तो प्री स्केल का असाइनमेंट के लिए जीरो असाइन किया प्री स्केल नहीं करना है तो दिस बिट शुड बी 1 सो द कॉम्बिनेशन विल बी 0 0 0 1 दैट मींस दिस वैल्यू विल बी 8 सो द वैल्यू व्हाइल लोडिंग और व्हाइल इनिशियलाइजिंग द टाइमर विल बी 0x08 दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन मैनेज द इनिशियलाइजेशन ऑफ टा timer while writing the program other features push there so you will have to write the same feature that means you can well use timer 0 for 8 bit or 16 bit counting then this these are the pre scales assignment by default pre scale is uh, a oscillator by 4 then it is h uh, uh, select a bit and uh, if the value is 1 then increment will be on high to low and for 0 increment will be uh, from low to high so these are the few features of timer 0 Next is timer 1 control register. Just say, we have timer 0 control register discussed here. On the same lines, these are the bits related to timer 1 control register. This is basically 8-bit control register. So, first bit, I mean MSB bit, D7 bit is RD16. It is read or write mode enable bit. If it is 1, it indicates that this timer is enabled for 16-bit read and write operation. If it is 0, it is enabled for 8-bit read and write operation. Bit number D6 is not used. These two bits are important as far as programming part is concerned. These are the pre-scalar bits. Different combinations are written. If these bits are 1, 1, pre-scale will be 1 as to 8. Then if it is 1, 0, it will be 1 as to 4 for 0, 1. For 0, 1, it will be 1 as to 2. For 0, 0, it will be 1 as to 1. For example, if we have 1 as to 4 pre-scale karna hai, timer initialize karna hai while writing the program, then how to manage it? See, I will write the bit positions. This is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This bit positions. Hai. What we discussed, 1 as to 4. This 1 as to 8. Hai. 1 as to 4 ka pre-scale use karna hai. So, I need to make these bits. Bit number 5 and 4, 1, 0. So 5, 4 will be 1, 0. Remaining bits initially, while initializing the timer, will be by default 0. So this combination is 0. This will be 0, 0, 2. So this combination can be written as, this is only 2. This combination can be written as 0, x, 2, 0. Same way, if you want, if it is if it is mentioned in the question, use maximum pre-scale. Maximum pre-scale is 1 as to 8. I, I need to make use of this pre-scale. For this, the bit should be 1, 1. So, this bit will be again 1. So, this will be 3. And this combination will be 0, x, 3, 0. This is the way how you can manage this pre-scale bits while initializing the timer 1. Next is timer 1, G... Timer 1 OSC that is oscillator enable bit. If it is 1, oscillator is enabled. If it is 0, oscillator is disabled. Then timer 1 synchronization bit. If it is 1, it indicates no synchronization with external clock. And if it is 0, there is synchronization with external clock. Then timer 1 CS that is timer 1 clock source select bit. If it is 1, we will be selecting external clock for 0, we will be selecting internal uh, available clock. 
then last bit is simple timer one on and off it, if it is one timer one is on and if it is zero timer one is off if applications are asked along with this explanation then almost for all timers the application remains same they are used to produce the time delays then generation of a square wave signal generation of a, a pulse width modulation signal and so on नेक्स्ट इज टाइमर टू कंट्रोल रजिस्टर अब देखो पहले के टाइमर में टाइम इन टाइमर जीरो टाइमर वन के साथ इसका कंपेयर करोगे तो मेजर डिफरेंस इज इन दिस केस पोस्ट स्केल बीट्स आर आल्सो यूज जैसे हमने प्री स्केल डिस्कस किया लाइक वाइज इट इज अपोजिट टू प्री स्केल पोस्ट स्केल बीट्स आर ऑल्सो यूज सो डी सेवन बीट इज अनयूज डी सिक्स डी फाइव डी फोर डी थ्री कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस फोर बीट्स इंडिकेट्स बाय हाउ मच अमाउंट यू आर पोस्ट स्केलिंग For example, if this combination is zero 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 zero, post scale is one h to one. If it is zero 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 one, post scale is one h to two. Up to one 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 one, it is one h to sixteen. That's the next combination. Over zero zero one zero one h to three. As a one h to sixteen. Then so this is these are the bits responsible for post scaling. Next timer two on. Very simple one. If this is bit is one, timer two is switched on. Otherwise for zero it is switched off and last two bits ls bit uh, two bits are d1 and uh, d0 these are pre scale bits 00 combination indicates pre scaling by 1 01 pre scaling by 4 and for 10 and 11 pre scaling is by 16 now last type of uh, control register that is timer 3 control register msb bit d7 bit is rd16 when it is 1 it enables read write r oblique W means read write. It enables read write in one sixteen bit operation. When it is zero, it enables read write in two eight bit operations. Now these are the four bits out of which D six that is T three C C P two and T three C C P one. These are related to compare and capture C C P module. ये हम लोग डिटेल में डिस्कस करने वाले हैं about C C P module. Presently, if this combination, I mean D six and D three. If it is one zero or one one, then timer three clock for compare and capture CCP model. If it is zero one, then timer three is used for CCP two and timer one for CCP one. If it is zero zero, timer one for CCP. जैसे मैंने बताया ये हम लोग डिटेल में लर्न करने वाले हैं. Then remaining bits that is D five and D four. These are pre scaling bits. So one one if the value is one one. Pre scaled is by the factor one h to eight, then one zero one h to four, zero one one h to two, zero zero one h to one. Then next bit is D two T three synchronization bit. If it is one, that means no synchronization with external clock. If it is zero, synchronization with external uh, clock. Then T M R three that is timer three C S that is clock select or clock source uh, select bit. So if it is one. The clock source will be external. If it is zero, clock source will be internal. Last bit, as like the earlier uh, timers, T M R three on. If this bit is one, timer three will be on. If it is zero, timer three will be zero. Now let us talk about some programming part. These are the steps while writing the program using timers. From the exam point of view, you may expect the separate question like, what are the steps for programming using timers? So first step is initialize timer control register that we already discussed. Then calculate the delay. These are the calculations for delay. Crystal frequency. If it is not given in the question, by default assume this frequency as 10 megahertz. Calculate timer clock frequency. That is 10 divided by 4. That is 2.5 megahertz. Then from this, this is the timer clock frequency. From this, calculate timer clock period. That is reciprocal of frequency, so it is one upon two point five megahertz. Megahertz means ten raised to six. So one upon two point five into ten raised to six. That is point four microseconds. Then the number n is calculated using the formula given delay. That that delay will be mentioned in the question. For example, ten milliseconds. So that given delay divided by timer clock period. Timer clock period is this value. So you will get value of n. Then calculate count that is equals to six five five three six minus n. Then once you calculate this value of count, convert it into hex values, hexadecimal values, and store it. Load this content in TH and TL registers. जैसे हम लोग eight zero five one में load करते थे. Then 
थर्ड स्टेप इज स्टार्ट टाइमर विथ इंस्ट्रक्शन टी जीरो सीओ एन और एंड टी एम आर ओ टी एम आर जीरो ऑन विल डिस्कस दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन वाइल राइटिंग द प्रोग्राम्स देन ऑब्जर्व फ्लैग यू नीड टू अप्लाई द लूप फॉर डिले रूटीन देन ऑब्जर्व द फ्लैग इफ फ्लैग इज वन इट इंडिकेट्स देर इज अ ओवर फ्लो एंड यू नीड टू एक्सिट फ्रॉम द लूप देन आफ्टर दिस यू विल बी एक्सिटिंग फ्रॉम द लूप एंड क्लियर द टाइमर फ्लैग सो दीज आर द स्टेप्स usually used while writing the programs using timers patience so first is hash include we are including header file then white delay void and this is the program uh, to generate a delay for 100 milliseconds first is first instruction is t1 timer 1 con control register 0x30 we are loading this value to get a pre scaling a maximum pre scaling that is 1 hash to 8 we have already discussed then Uh, load higher bit with 0x3c and lower by b0 these are the standard instructions same as 8051 microcontroller then to start the timer we'll be using this instruction t1 con bits dot tm r1 on equals to 1 it will start the timer we have to use a while loop just to get an ind indication of overflow flag so this is the while loop pi r1 bit dot tm r1 if equals to equals to 0 so that is the uh, this instruction is for flag overflow then whenever there is an overflow uh, flag overflow then timer should be stopped by giving the same instruction which we said earlier equals to 1 so this is equals to 0 and we need to clear the flag later on by using this instruction so this is about the delay program this is the common delay program what will be the changes value of this will be changed then timer uh, instead of using timer 1 it will be mentioned to use timer 0 or timer 2 accordingly few instructions will be changed but calculation of delay remains same suppose we want to write a, a program which will generate a square wave at the port at the output of port b to uske liye maine sirf ye main uh, program likh ke diya hai see the delay calculations will be same just now we discussed uh, using the same program you can implement the delay routine then void main void trace b this is the instruction by making use of which we can use port b as a output port so trace b equals to 0 while 1 ab dekho square wave generate karna we know that square wave is like this matlab pehle suppose ye on cycle hai after that you will be getting off cycle and period of on and off cycle is ideally same to hum log kya logic use kare sq bit ye pehle aap logon ko define karna padega this sq bit is complement this sign is com for complement complement of sq bit matlab pehle agar on hai to kuch time delay apply karenge tab tak ye pulse on rahega after this we'll use this instruction so it will मेक दिस ऑन साइकिल ऑफ मतलब वन का जीरो करेंगे जीरो है तो वन करेंगे लाइक माइक्स देन अगेन वी विल अप्लाई डिले फॉर सम टाइम पीरियड टू गेट द ऑफ साइकिल अगेन द सेम रूटीन विल रिपीट बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन वाइल वन सो दिस इज अबाउट द मेन प्रोग्राम जैसे मैंने बताया डिले के कैलकुलेशन करने पड़ेंगे जो मैंने एक्सप्लेन किए और ये डिले का सब रूटीन यूज करना पड़ेगा सो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन राइट द प्रोग्राम यूजिंग टाइमर सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे सेशन सो थैंक यू थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो